Oh, they'll be calling you a radical. I wanted to get this up. And nobody has fought this fucking fairy tale, this epic tell me lies, tell me sweet little nuclear lies than I have. From fucking the beginning on this SMR sham. So this is breaking twofold. The new scale scam and then the Bill Gates share firm being funded by one municipality on the face of the planet. Right here, Utah. You know, if you pay a power bill in the state of Utah, you've been fucked. You've been ripped off so hard by New Scale. And you fools that are trading New Scale stock, you know, here we go. What's the old movie theater stock? That went to, what are you doing? This is a company that has no contracts, that has no product, that has no nothing. So... Just like I said the other day, you pump it up, one of these insiders, they still got stock. Now it's being reported, the insiders fucking selling stock Thursday and Friday. They're like, thank you, fools. Thank you, fucking idiots. You pump it up. And, I, I, you know, all you people that got burned that bought it at 10, 9, 8. I want your other sister. It already went from 14 to down to $2, and then you do it again? Oh, my God. So... You deserve to get burned. I, you know, everybody who got burned on it, this go around. The first time, I get, well, everybody that fell for this scam, you're not paying attention. I mean, the fundamental, I mean, hello, there are no SMRs. So, to Bill Gates and his sham in Kemmer, Wyoming. I talked, I know uh, so many people up there. I talked to Bill the other day. I mean, you know, and they're already, I'm like, They'll never build a fucking plant up there, Utah. So here's Governor Cox in Utah. He needs to be investigated. He, I asked him straight up about these SMRs right before he became governor. He played like he did. He told me he didn't even know what they were. Oh, fuck. Then right after he becomes governor, he signs a contract with Bill Gates, the most hated man in the was in the history of the state of Utah. Remember, he sold the operating system. The operation said, word perfect, novel. Here. Remember, we had a trial in 2011 here. Why was you know, protesting the trial? Because I was in the bone marrow transplant center going in and out of a coma when it was going on. He stole it, remember? Windows, where do you get all that money? Windows comes out of nowhere. Boop, blah, blah, blah. He never invented anything. It was invented here. Alan Ashton, Bruce Bastion. I mean, word perfect had 99% of the market. So they're bringing back Steve Jobs' mouse. Gates is, and so he cons Word Perfect into a, he cons him into a, a lot of my family worked there. I mean, big, big wigs that were in Novell. Where's your Novell watch? Isn't it right here? Yeah. That's real, by the way. I mean, my brother was this was one of the real big, big wigs there. <laughs> That's real, by the way. Remember, in 95, they're going to merge and work it out together. And then when he blitzed the world with the giant advertising, where'd he get all that money? And then, or, go fuck yourself, eat shit, go to hell. It popped up on all the software. In the trial, one hung your... <laughs> surprise, surprise. So, the NRC has rejected their license again. Now, stay with me. You do know that Bill Gates' small modular reactors for Wyoming, they have no license for this product because this product doesn't exist. You can read it. They just sent it back again. That's what they do. They send it back. When you have the real technology and you can show us that it works, We'll prove it. Well, then how did New Scale get approved? Because they don't have it. New Scale's even come out and told you we don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> we fucked you in Utah for 10 years for hundreds of millions. <laughs> the Red has connection. I asked Sean Ray's, the Attorney General, point blank, at uh, Bear River Rousey. I'm not related to him. Okay, okay. The irony of that it was in Idaho at this. So, 
So, they got no license. Keeps getting sent back. So, Trump, when he gets president, I don't know why he did this. He appointed her head of the NRC. She worked at Idaho National Lab. No. Oh, yeah. With the CEO of New Scale. Don't you think that's conflict, right? Don't you think she'd recruit herself? And, you know, their committee passes it by what? what? It's so fraudulent. New Scale's first original funding was Kenwood Financial. I'm the guy that outed that. Was a Ponzi scheme. I'm the guy that outed him bribing in the Utah State House. Caught him. At least in Ohio, the FBI went in after him. And, you know, Larry Householder, the House Majority Speaker, is doing 23 years in prison. So, right now, they busted him. How come they didn't go after the bribers? Only the bribees. Well, apparently, they have recently. I mean, so historic. I mean, if I was New Scale, if I was even Bill Gates, my knees would be knocking right now. Of course, I guess they're the untouchables. So that whole thing was a scam from the beginning, from day one. Then they take it public on the New York Stock Exchange. Then, you know, all the, <laughs> the venture capitalists in the Bay Area, Sam Altman's trying this scam. Maybe he can get, you know, the Stanford. I mean, you know, he keeps going down this road. He can join Bankman Fried and Elizabeth Holmes, the Stanford scammers. Where are they, those two at? Well, Bankman Fried's not in prison yet, is he? He's under house arrest, I believe, at his mom and dad's house, which Stanford owns on the campus. What? They need to board up that institution. I mean, fuck, what the hell? So... The NRC has set back Bill Gates's application for their license, and I just read it. He sent it back on Friday and says, "No, you don't have the technology. You don't have it. When you have this, you then send it to us." There are no fucking SMRs. Now, people saw and a small modular reactor on a ship. That's a whole different animal. They're so teeny and small. As you know, on ships, they have backup diesel generators. I mean, we're talking an SMR that can power an entire municipality, which we got sold here. There are so many criminals here in Utah. They came out and gave $200,000 grants to all these people. Kaysville, Brigham City, Murray, Logan, all these people. And I, they had one person on earth fighting them. I was in critical condition in those days. Full fucking leukemia in the bone marrow transplant at LDS. I cannot believe. And then the Biden administration, like the Trump, appropriates all this fucking money for this lie. You know, just like the activists got, a, a, you know, arrested in Belgium. Greenpeace in Europe is the shit. Do not kid yourself. They are awesome. I know all those guys. Greenpeace here, they're pieces of shit. You know, they're sellouts. Where they, I mean, the litmus says Fukushima. Uh, I'm green, I'm green, I'm green, I'm green, I'm green. This book is green, this book is green, this book is green. So is this book, this book is green, this book is green, this book is green. <laughs> so the insiders got another gift from you, pumpers. Oh my God. You know, I was a trader. Some guy come to me on my site uh, the other day and says, should be against a lot of short stocks. Be against a lot of short stocks. Should be against a lot of buy fucking stocks like this. Fuck, you have to. If it wasn't for short sellers, because I'll tell you why. Short sellers have become the new police. Because they only investigated journalists that are out there. One. And two, the SEC refuses to do anything. This fucking new scale scam is the dirtiest fucking thing I've ever seen. And I'm an ex derivative arm guy. I'm an ex Wall Street guy. You know, play back the tape. Remember when I had you buying all that fucking Tesla stock when it IPO'd? Remember when I had you buying all that uh, Apple stock in 2011? Remember that? Fuck, I had 30,000 shares of Tesla. Well, how come here I felt the stinking rich? Because 
right after I bought all of it, you know, I had about a million dollars in the stock market. Huh. Play back the tape. My trading in 2010, 2011. Fuck. Killing it. Killing it. A lot of people are making a lot of money following me along. I got leukemia. I got hit by a freight train. I was uninsured. I had to fork over every penny I got to get into the bone marrow transplant center and fight for my life. And it's been a brutal fight ever since. You know, it's, I was given two months to live with ML De Nuvo. My grandson, who was born that year, he was doing my stock portfolio. And he's like, God, you'd be worth hundreds of millions. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't. I'll take my life, you know. Told you. Just two sessions ago, when it was a 10.14, I posted it, tagged the time in there, short it by all the puts you can get on it. That fucking stock went, it's, what, 450? Who can do that? I mean, that's basically in one day. You know what kind of score that is? I hope some of you did it. You know, I accept tips. I have a GoFundMe page. But, agreed. I mean, if, I, mean I, I remember a kid in... Well, I'm in the bone marrow crime, so I sucked up for nothing. He sent me an email, and he says, I got to tell you, he says, you changed my our whole family's lives. You know, I was following along with you, and I remember he was going to Berkeley, and one of the professors was playing my finance videos in the classes at Berkeley. I remember he emailed me and told me, he says, these kids are got a drinking game for every time you say fuck. I says, none of them is going to graduate. <laughs> And this kid emailed me and he says, you changed our whole family's entire lives. Because I says, everybody was gung-ho on silver when it was, you know, pumped up to, you know, $30, $40 an ounce. I'm like, short silver, get out of your gold, get out of your silver. Everybody's gold, silver, and the Dow was, you know, back down around 10000 And I'm like, go all in Tesla and Apple. He says, it took a lot of work, but I worked on my grandfather and... He did it, and we bought Tesla, and, you know, a few days later, he emailed me again. He says, I said, you still got it? He says, yeah. He says, well, you should send me a tip, you know. I mean, he told me then that their family had made over uh, $75 million off it. Guess how much he sent me? This is the sickening fucking selfishness plague that we live in. I don't know. I hate the nuclear industry if you can't fucking tell. I wonder why. My mate, Annika, you know, Ukraine, I watched her die of cancer at 38 years old and leukemia. That girl was something else. I watched my dad after being nuked in the Nevada test site die in the prime of his life. And then the doctor looks you right in your eyes and tells me I got two months to live. The fuck am I supposed to do? So, okay. Nuclear industry wins. I decided to fight back. You know? And they're a fuck. They're, they're a motherfucker to fight back. <laughs> I mean, they have all the money. Price Anderson. You think about the SMR propaganda. Like the activists in Belgium and holding up the sign. How long have I been calling it the fairy tale? I love those guys. End the fairy tale. End the fairy tale. It's a sham. There are no fucking SMRs. There will never be. Albert Einstein says you've taken this technology as far as you can take it in the early 50s. He said that. No, it's a sham. And we keep fucking playing. And this is, and you think about opportunity costs, literally. What about opportunity costs? What has been stole by the nuclear industry for this kind of shit? 180 billion here, 200 billion here, another trillion, a fucking Google. Speaking of Novell, you know who gutted Novell? Oh, yeah, Eric Smith. What? Yeah, that Eric Smith. Isn't he a big dog for Google now? Fucking Bill Gates. You camera wild. Don't you see? They're already getting the money. And you why would Utah be feeding them? You look at KSL, you look at all the media around. KSL has is liable. 
Fuck, they've promoted this MR scam fucking every... I mean, that's not media. The propaganda that's gone in Utah media, well, all over the whole world fucking media, especially is fucking obscene on these SMRs. And the money that these politicians... I mean, he's running for the Senate right now. Curtis, John Curtis here. He proposed a bill for more of it. I mean, it's a fucking sham. It's unfucking real. So... The NRC sent out about Bill Gates's application. They sent back Altman's. Altman says he's going to take his public. They have no license. New Skill has a license. New Skill license was obtained so fraudulently. And New Skill's already come out and says, we ain't got it. Sorry. Ha, 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 Utah. Coming out of your bills, it's called AMPS. It was for wind and solar, for alternative. They went in and they had one person battling them. And I was full of cancer then. Way back the tape, Your Honor. I'm in that freaking house fighting them. Freaking just going out of teams of fucking attorneys against me. You know, it was, I was on my own from day one. I've called out this from day one and I was right the entire fucking time. Yet they just beat the fuck out of me and scammed you. You know, who knew that to be a true activist and stand up for what is true, what is reality, would be a revolutionary act, Kevin Wynch. That fucking blows my mind. All this intangible hard work I've done fighting, what did I get for it? I didn't get shit for it. I get nothing. You know? Well, I take it back. I got my life. I remember being in that bone marrow transplant, going in at a fucking coma in 2012. I mean, it was so fuck. I, I, I don't think people have a fucking clue what AML leukemia in, a, in one of those acute units is like. I, I don't think they have. I remember taking Megan and Melissa to the massage therapist. I was inviting people. Fimbo says, I'll let you on a filter, bring them in. I changed those two girls' lives forever. They went in there. We spent the day on a field trip in there. You know, I was under treatment. And I'll never forget those two just fucking crying when they come out. He says, oh, my God, that place is the most brutal fucking place on the face of the planet. You get You know, most people don't come out of it. People in there fighting their ass off to stay alive. Sucked up to fucking nothing. ML leukemia is so fucking brutal. Fucking I don't think people have any fucking clue how brutal that fucking disease is. Well, how could you, you know? Because they quarantine. They don't let people in those units. I mean, young women sucked up to fucking 70 pounds, clinging to fucking life, fighting. Uh, no hair, fucking no pigment in your eyes, blisters on your fucking tongue, slipping out and out of a coma, can't eat, living on a back. I mean, so fucking. I mean, I've had open heart surgery twice now, the chemo, where they rip your heart completely out of your fucking chest. I'm scarred from here to fucking here. And open heart surgery is fucking brutal. Do not kid yourself. I've had it twice. It's not as brutal as AML leukemia. It's not. And I remember making promises that I would fight these fucking lion monsters. If I was given whatever gods there be, you know, I didn't ask the powers there be, whatever gods there be. I never asked. I thanked. I've never asked God for anything. I thanked God for my second chance, my life, for all the blessings that I've had. But I sure made a lot of promises to myself that I fight these fucking monsters every single fucking day. Remember, I was given two months to live with no chance. No fucking chance. I mean, the survival rate of what I had, I had ML de Nuvo fucked with a marker of 44. There's just no way you're going to survive. You know, and I get the miracle of life. I get a second chance. It's been fucking hard. It's been really a fucking brutal, brutal fucking fight. You know, this is the fact that I go in the bone marks on 11, 11, 11, but wow. I paid a fucking price. I'll tell you that. I paid a heavy, heavy fucking price, but you know, that's the trade off. That's what fighting leukemia is. Fighting ammo. Doesn't, you just don't go in a bone marks. And I didn't have transplant. I was too sick. Remember, I walked the whole coast of California in a fucking sleeping bag, showing you the diet. I mean, I've done the work of multiple PhDs, multiple scientists, multiple activists on multiple fronts. 
you know. But that's what it is. And these guys get rich. You know, John Hopkins, not that's my John Hopkins survival bracelet. His name's John Hopkins, coincidentally. He sold a whole bunch of stock. He's a the CFO of fucking New Skill. Jose Reyes, fucking Colbert, not that Colbert, you know. Those insiders have been selling and becoming worth many, 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 many millions of dollars off a total fucking sham. Off us as Utah ratepayers. We got nobody to protect us. Where the fuck is the SEC? I can't ever recall the SEC going after anybody fucking for decades on nothing. Why do we even have that agency then? What's the point? It's kind of like the EPA. This mega welfare dairy behind me. Fucking, he's burning down fucking my property today. He gets caught. But people don't give a fuck. These people are just... I mean, he's the same guy that backhanded the fucking murder worker in the fucking face. And nothing. I mean, they, these people just go, run rickshaw over the law. Run rickshaw over it. And everybody just... And there's no government agencies to... I mean, Bill Gates, what he's doing, fucking... The money he's scamming. I mean, not... Going to scan, already scammed. He has no fucking license for this product. He'll never have a license for this product because it does not exist. It's a fairy tale. It's a fucking sham. Every time they've tried SMRs, Santa Susana, what's that in LA in the 60s? Let's go back in the 60s. I don't national lap, pulling people off the Clear back. Well, how, how about in Russia on 8 8 2019? That one blew up. They don't work, they don't exist. I mean, and even if they did the fucking hypothesis, they produce five times more fucking nuclear waste than even a big fucking reactor. And we know how economical those fucking things are. One word, Fukushima. So, want to get this up. This SMR, here we go. The terra firma, the camera that Utah is funding. Why would fucking our governor... Governor Cox, get involved. I mean, he's being investigated on that. It blows my mind, especially after we got scammed so hard from New Skill, and you had one person. And you know how much mon money I have got in funding over my activism career from Utah? And I'm seventh generation in here, by the way. Seventh generation in Utah. I mean, I'm so fucking Utah that my social media address used to come up at LDSU State Hospital, Salt Lake City. Been here... None. The only funding that I've got from around the world has come from Austria and Northern California. Man. This girl from Colorado. You know, I remember I had a guy in lower Manhattan who used to help me out a little, but not one penny in Utah. Yet they'll sell Tim Ballard Hundreds of millions. By the way, I saw pictures today. Oh my, have you seen these? You Utahns? Oh my God, have you seen these fucking photographs of this, the therapist who just got sent to prison? And remember, she's the expert witness in all your divorce custody cases. The pictures got released today or yesterday. Oh my fucking God. This is the worst child abuse in fucking history. Oh, my open wounds, skinny, sucked up, starving to death. This is the most heinous thing I ever fucking seen. So, what's her name? Jody Hillbrand. And what was the other chick's name? I mean, but this Jody. Oh, and remember, she was. A, how did she have a license in this fucking state? What has happened to this fucking state? How corrupt is it? Just like this mega welfare dairy next to me. How could the. I mean, what is the fucking matter with this place? Oh, my God. You look up her pictures. Oh, my God. You, you, they, they're at least, I mean, I just saw them. That was my grandson's soccer game in the fucking pouring rain. And you seen these, Jeff? No. Oh, 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 oh. I've never seen anything so hideous in my fucking life. This is their own kids and other people's kids. This is the worst case of fucking child abuse in fucking human history. Right here. What the fuck is, what's going on in Utah? What the fuck is happening?
I've never seen such a corrupt, dirty. And remember, she's the expert witness with the courts and dozens and dozens and dozens of people reporting her and fucking telling this. And this is, oh my God, oh my God. And we're funding fucking Bill Gates build nuclear reactors in camera, which will never happen. He's just robbing us. New scale. Ro Here I'm in critical condition. And they're teams of trolls, and we proved you hire, which is phonies, and I mean dozens of Facebook pages and YouTube sites in 2011, 2012, 2013, with my name 100% to slander. And all I'm trying to do is the truth. These SMRs are a fucking sham. Read the NRC's report. Got kicked back again. That's what they do. They just kick them back. When you have it, come back. And they'll never have it. Meanwhile, Gates and these people just keep sucking up money. Sucking up money. You know? And they're going to hide behind Price Anderson, the Congressional Act, and think they don't have to pay it back. So fucking fraudulent. So, anyway. Thank you to the activists in Belgium. You know? I mean, I've been calling it the fairy tale for fucking ever. No good deed goes unpunished, right? who they are. All right. So don't listen to me, whatever you do. I don't know. I just get it right. I'll keep fighting them. I'll keep fighting them, you know, just because I made these promises. I made these promises to myself. I mean, because why else would I keep going? Because no one gets a fuck. You know, they want to be scammed, I guess. I don't know what the fuck your trip is. Stay in tune.